for joining me today as I pop on for a quick video to show a purchase that I made today. I know I am really late to the party when it comes to zebra pens and a lot of planners have been using these for quite a while but today here in the UK I managed to pick up this brand new release which is this big 30 pack which includes 50 mild liners and 15 Z grip smooth fashion pens and probably the thing that excited me the most a free pen stand. So I just thought it would be fun if I unboxed it with you and did a quick pen test and gave you my thoughts. My current favourite pens are these Pentel Energel gel pens. I use them all the time to write in my planner and I do have a video where I swatch all the colours that I do think they are quite hard to find. I don't really know anything about zebra pens except they are like a highlighter but not as bright as a highlighter. And I have seen some lovely uses of them in planner spreads on Instagram. So let's open it up. This set is exclusive to a shop called Tesco's here in the UK. And I got it for, well, it was £20. But if you are a Tesco club card holder, I don't know if I was supposed to do that. Probably not. You've got it for £12.50. So we've got, this is the stand and then this must be the fashion pens and here are all the mild liners so if you are in the UK I recommend getting Tesco's as soon as possible this release today as I say and this video will probably go up day after so you might need to be quick apparently they did release one last year that had a black pen stand and that disappeared very quickly it was quite hard to find I didn't really know about zebra pens much then but they have said there is more availability this year but I didn't want to miss out so I went straight down to Tesco's I'm assuming this is how it goes and they had three I was going to wait till I do my weekly shop but I wasn't about to chance it so I popped out especially today and they had three so I got one and it'll be interesting to see when I go in a couple of days whether there will be any left I think not not for that price so this holds 50 pens, which is going to be very useful as it doesn't take up an awful lot of space. I'm assuming that is it. And if I don't want to use it for these, I can always use it for other pens. That is just going to look so nice and organised on my desk. So I'm loving it just for that. While I've got it out, I've just grabbed one of my Pentel Energels and check whether it fits. No, it doesn't because we've got the clip. So that's okay because I tend to keep my Pentel Energels in the pack as that's what works best for me. I did ask Zebra, is it all right to store these pens vertically? Because a lot of pens need to be stored horizontally. And they seem to think it was okay. They did say that you could turn them the other way up, but I don't think you can. Which tells me they don't know that much about their product. The only way you could is to put these and then put the lid on. So for those of you out there who own Zebra pens, just let me know in the comments whether you store them vertically like this. Or is it better to store them horizontally, especially considering they are dual tipped pens. Hopefully it's okay to store them like that because this is a really useful stand to just have on your desk. So I'd like to be able to make use of it. This is what it looks like from the front. It's got the Zebra logo. It's just pretty basic. I can't seem to push these stands down any further, although on the box it doesn't look as though there's any gap here, but it does its job. It fits my Pigma Micron pens. 
it will be very useful for my dual tip whispers pens because these are so long they don't really fit into my pencil cases great for a muji not sure about my uniball signo i think it's too wide at the top should be good for crayola super tips not sure about paper make flares yep and it's got 50 spaces so it's going to be really useful for me because my pen collection has expanded quite considerably over the last year now let's take a look at the pens so i think these z grip fashion pens are just ballpoint pens and obviously got very pretty barrels Ooh, that's nice that rose gold one so i thought even if i don't use them so much as planner pens they're going to be useful for planner photos and i think you're getting a couple of each yes there are five different designs and three of each design they are retractable and they all come with the little piece of plastic on the end to protect them and they have a one millimeter tip this one is a rainbow design this one has blue and green marbling this one as i said is a beautiful rose gold all over with a sheen here Next we have a pink one with some silver dots and finally this peach and white marble design. I am always needing pens to write with, not just in my planner. These have got a soft grippy part at the bottom so let's just have a go at writing with one and see what it feels like. definitely not the smoothest pen I've ever used. I do much prefer gel pens to ballpoint pens but it seems to write okay with no skipping and as I'm always running out of biros these are going to be very useful. I probably would have preferred a different combination maybe one of the other zebra types of pens in with the mild liners but these definitely aren't going to go to waste. You will see them in my Instagram planner photos very soon. Now let's look at the mild liners. I'm very interested to see what colours I've got. I don't think they have names. I do wish that they would name the colours. My Pentel Energels do have names. So it means you have to make up your own names. Um, I'm someone who quite likes to get all the colours. So I like to know which ones I've got and which ones are missing. So when they're not named, it's quite hard to tell. I think I will grab some Happy Planner planner paper. In my last pen test videos I used Happy Notes paper and it really did affect the results. I hadn't realised there was such a difference between the Happy Note paper and the paper in the planners. I had quite a bit of issue with smudging on the Happy Notes paper. So I did say then if I did another pen test video I'd make sure I used actual Happy Planner planner paper. Always useful to have a double ended pen. So let's just swatch out both sides and to me that's very neon that pink it reminds me of the highlighters I already own which are these Stabilo highlighters they're the ones I tend to use Stabilo Boss and just giving my initial impression they seemed a little bit scratchy on the highlighter the Stabilo are very juicy but let's keep going Just for 
comparison, here is my Stabilo, which is really juicy. And here is this one. So my video cut out and I'm not going to refilm, but I was just comparing the Stabilo to the Mild Liners and obviously they're called Mild Liners for a reason. The Stabilo are very vibrant and bright. These are much more muted in their tone. And then I tried three of my black planner pens just to see how well they worked as highlighters. I used my Pigma Micron, my Muji 0.38 and my Pentel Energel gel pen. The Pigma Micron performed the best. There was smudging of the Muji and the Pentel Energel. So that did lead me to wonder what pens you are supposed to be using that you can highlight over, probably just ordinary ballpoint pens. Let's try that with one of the ones in the set. Yes, no problem with that one. So it intrigues me a little bit to find out which pens planners are using with the mold liners that they don't smudge. I would definitely have to think carefully because I do mainly use my Pentel Energel and that would be no good. If we look on the back for bleed through, you can actually see where I've started and finished the little swatches. Whereas I noticed for the Stabilo, you're not really seeing very much at all. So there is a little bit of bleed through on the paper and this is from the Homebody undated monthly layout, so it's Happy Planner Planner paper. So for me, the jury is out on the zebra pens. I think I will probably find these more useful than the mild liners, maybe for drawing boxes or doing a little bit of colouring in letters or doodles in my planner. But we'll have to see. I won't really be able to tell until I've tried them out for a couple of weeks. So look out for them making an appearance in my planner sometime soon. I don't regret buying them for around 40p a pen. That's a great bargain. I'm going to have plenty of pens to use. I will have to update my pen swatch list so that I've got a record of these here at the back of my planner. And I'm looking forward to giving them a good workout. I'd really love to hear your views on zebra pens in the comments, particularly the mild liners. Do you highlight with them and what do you write with underneath that doesn't smudge? And also how long lasting are these? Because I don't get the impression that there is a lot of ink in them. As I say, these are so much juicier. I may be wrong, but I get the impression they're not pens that are going to last. So that's my review of the big 30 pack Zebra pens available from Tesco's in the UK. They are meant to be available till the start of September. So you have got a bit of time to try and track them down, even if you just want the useful desk stand. Thanks for joining me for this video. And I look forward to reading your comments about your experience with Zebra Pens. Hope you're having a great week. Happy planning. Take care and see you soon.